<laughs> yeah, we do. Um, you know, I, I want to say first of all that you know it's a great. Uh, it's been a great seeing those guys compete. You know, all all three of those guys. I mean, really all spring, all summer, um, and they they've really tried to help each other out, and they're continuing to do that. And and as we move throughout this season, you know, as we've told all all three of those guys, the fact that it's going to take all three of them really to, to get through this season. It's, it's it's you know it's been proven over over time that you need more than one quarterback, and, and in some cases three. And um, we're very fortunate to have three guys that we feel capable of moving this offense and, and helping our team win. Um, you know, but after you know we studied all, all the things that we did throughout camp and spring and summer, and, and Brendan Swords would be our starter. Um, you know, he's he's worked hard to learn the offense, and, and he's made a lot of plays. And um, you know, I, I think he gives us a great situation as far as running the quarterback as well as throwing the you know throwing the ball. So I think he he's got a good command of what we're trying to do and. Um, you know, but having said that, we got full confidence in the other two quarterbacks as well to be able to go in and move move our offense. Obviously, the seven Big Ten starts has to help his, his resume and, and you know, the way he carries himself, the way he runs. All the, you evaluated a lot of things other than just what you saw, though, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, as a be a quarterback, I mean, it takes everything. I mean, you know, you got to have situational awareness. Um, you know, it, it obviously helps to, to have him played in big games. Um, the teams that we're playing this year obviously are, are talented and coached well. I mean, you got to. You know, it, it helps to have experience when you're going into those, some of those venues that we got to go into. Um, you know, but I, but I also think he's earned the respect of his teammates. Um, you know, I think that's huge. Um, so th there's so many little things I think that that go into it, not just net, just throwing and, and running. I mean, you know, it's all the other stuff. And and I think he's handled himself well. He's 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 got a quiet confidence about himself, but he's also has some humility, which I like at the quarterback position. Dante Corleone, Luke Kandra, Gavin Gerhardt, and Derek Pantene, the Angel Titans. What has this offseason been been like for those four that kind of put them in that role? You know, well, the the, the three bigs, three big boys, um, they've they've endured a lot, you know, since I've been here and, and they've they've been on top, man. They've they they lead every day and they they've they've done that since I've been here since day one. So um, they they've earned the respect for from our teammates from a long time ago and they just continue that on. And, and so it wasn't a surprise to me. I mean, our team voted, you know, we obviously calculated all the votes. What Those three were not a surprise at all. Um, and then having been around Canteen, you know, since he got here in January, um, a tremendous person, um, has great leadership ability, and he's, and he's put that to work um, throughout the spring and summer and fall. And um, for him to come in in this short period of time and, and earn the respect of his teammates like he did, um, that, that says a lot about him. And, and I, I, we appreciate the way he goes about his business. And so excited about these four guys. And I, and I will say this too, you know, those were the top four uh, vote getters that, that, that the team voted for. And then there's probably eight or nine other guys that, that got some really good votes. And I, which, I, man, as a coach, it makes it, it excites you because we had a lot more leaders on this team than just those four. And, you know, as we sit here today, my plan is to, to name a fifth captain uh, throughout the, the season on, 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 on each week. Um, and utilize some of those other guys that, that receive votes because I, they, they're worthy of it. They need the recognition because of how they led this off season and how they help our team. So, you know, we'll, we'll you know next week we'll name a, a fifth captain for that game, and then we'll see how it goes the rest of the season. As you as you head into game prep week, uh, how comfortable are you with where the offense is currently? What will the emphasis be this coming week? You know, I, man, man, I'm way more comfortable than last year <laughs> at this point in time. I mean, you know, with uh, with the guys we have up front with. Um, you know, our running game, I feel like our tight end room is, is upgraded. Um, man, we got some weapons there. Um, the wide receivers have really come together over the last two weeks. Um, you know, and I feel like we got we got enough playmakers to go out there and move the football and, and score some points. And, you know, with the experience up front where it all starts, and, and that's what we're really excited about. So, um, you know, now it, it, you got to go and you got to operate. You know, as a coach, you always think about, you know, we, we don't want to look sloppy, you know, some the, the false starts, the – you know, 12 guys on the field. I mean, all the stupid little penalties that can happen in, in a first game, you know, you, we want to eliminate those things. We want to be a clean game, um, you know, so, but I'm excited about where we are offensively. I feel like we got a, an offense that can go out there and move the ball this year. Um, you know, we certainly proved we can run it, but now, you know, how well can we push the ball down the field in the throw game? And I think that'll be um, something that we'll all be looking forward to and seeing if we can do that. Scott, do you and your staff going into the season or having come to work, do you all ever give, give out bulletin board material? Do you try to 
bottle that and give it to the team and say, hey, you're, the outside world is kind of taking you guys for granted, taking you guys lightly, or is it just blinders on? No, I mean, you know, you, we try to keep everything within and, and go as hard as we can each and every day, uh, really focus on us and not worry about the outside. You know, whether everybody's putting you up on a pedestal or nobody believes in you, it doesn't really matter. You still got to go put the work in and, and go prove it on the field. They've had a really good mindset about that. Um, we certainly will use any motivation that we can, you know, and right now, you know, not many people think we're going to be much. And so we'll certainly use that. And we got something to prove each and every week. And, uh, you know, but it's how you go about your business every day out here. I've really been pleased the way they've been working. And, you know, I'm excited to watch them play, although we still got another nine, eight or nine days, you know, but it's getting close and you can feel it. And, um, you know, but I'm excited about getting to game week. You were a quarterback when you called those guys in to tell them um, how, how did that go or do they kind of figure it out on their own? No, I mean, I think through camp, you know, as an individual, you know whether kind of where you are. You know, I think even though there's close competition, you kind of get a feel for, man, I had a good day today or I, I didn't have a great day today. And, you know, I, I think these, deep down inside, everybody wants to start. Like, all these guys want to start. And, and when, you, when you realize you're not starting, obviously you're disappointed. You know, but I also think you have to continue to work, you know, because you never know when you're going to get a chance and an opportunity to show your, 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 yourself and how, how you really are. And uh, when you get that chance, if you've sulked and if you've – you know, put your head down and you get an opportunity, then you're probably not going to be very good. You know, but if you took it in stride and said, all right, I'm going to keep working, keep trying to get better, and you get another opportunity, then I always feel like you'll prove yourself worthy. And, um, you know, and I, man, you know, at that quarterback position, there's some good, there are three good guys right there with good character and work hard. So, um, obviously, I'm sure the other two are disappointed. They're not the, not the guy, but they will get opportunities and they, they got to go out there and make the most of them. Scott, you've preached about the depth of the offensive line position. Obviously, Phil was a little banged up today. DeAndre's a little banged up. Do you just have any updates on those two? Yeah, you know, we have. O-line, D-line has kind of been some positions of, of getting um, some guys dinged up. Yeah, we feel really good about uh, Buford being ready for game week, you know, being on practice on Sunday. Um, you know, Wilder's still going to be a question mark, you know, with, with him. But, but I think getting Buford back, that'll be good. Um, you know, uh, Milan is another guy who's hopefully we can get back. And to me, he's a question for next week, but maybe, you know, the second week we'll be back. Um, you know, who gives us some more depth right there. Um, but, but having getting Buford back, that certainly will be helpful, you know, and you feel like you're still going to have six or seven guys, seven guys probably that can go out there and play for, for next week for sure. But we've still got a couple guys question mark. Special teams and emphasis today. Have you gotten a chance to look at the NFL, new NFL kickoff rules? What do you think about that? Maybe tripling down the call. It'll be interesting. You know, I think, you know, sometimes the NFL tries some things, and if it works and they like it, then it'll trickle down at some point. Um, I, think it's, I think it's more exciting probably the way, the way it is. You're going to get maybe more returns. And, and, you know, you don't have the layers that you, that you have the normal kickoff. I think it's more of a line. If you break the line, you got a chance to take it to the house. So I'm, that's one of the things I'm interested in looking at this year in the NFL to see how they do the kicks off, kickoffs and see if that will translate. Um, if, if they like it and it works out great, then I think we'll do it. You know, I think obviously the whole thing is for, you know, lessening the collisions that, that you have there with the kickoff team. Um, so, but I'm interested in seeing that. I think it may create an exciting play. And if, and if it is that way, then it'll probably end up getting adopted. What is the, what is the culture for the Bearcats? Season yeah, I mean, I, I think we've been talking about how connected this team is in the whole offseason. Um, you know, obviously got more connected to higher ground. And, you know, it's all it's good now because everything is great. When you face adversity, all right, how connected can we be? And I think you know, so you try to create such a tight bond that you can't be broken. And hopefully that's the way we are, no matter what faces the Bearcats this year. Um, and hopefully have some great success on the field and everybody's having, you know, a lot more fun and celebrating wins. And I think that's – and what you want to see. But I know we'll have some struggles at some point. We, you, everybody does. And how can we respond from those? You know, if we have a bad quarter, how can we come back the next quarter? Um, and I think that's the thing that I'm anxious to see. But I, I like our team. I like how they are. So we'll see how it goes uh, throughout the season. You expect Corleone to walk out as captain in shoulder pads within the next month? I mean, I'm very hopeful that that happens. Um, you know, I'll say this. You know, Corleone has worked his tail off. I mean, he is – he, he, he's just sweating as more as anybody on, our, on the field after every practice. Um, he's getting himself right mentally. So when they do, they do say it's okay to play, he'll be ready to go. Um, you know, again, we're still taking it day by day. And, and whenever they give, they give him the green light, he'll be ready to go. So very hopeful that, um, that he'll be on the sideline, you know, his shoulder pads and helmets ready to go. All right, that's all we got. All right.